Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm joining Pinkfresh Studio on a really fun blog hop where you will see the new collection. This is all about slimline cards, so you will find stamps, dies and stencils. Make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the details on how you can enter the giveaways and where you can find inspiration. So first of all I'm going to start with this lovely stamp set. It's called You Are My Favorite. It gives you this uh, flower composition along with many sentiments. And there is an available die to die cut it as well as a pack that includes those three stencils. This make your job of coloring super easy. I'm going to use all three of them so you can see them in action. First of all, I'm going to stamp the big flower composition. And if you like the new trend of creating slimline cards, then this is a great stamp set to have on your collection, since it could work for pretty much any occasion, just a flower composition that would cover up pretty much the whole card front. I like to create my slimline cards to be 3.5 by 8.5, so they fit nicely inside that uh, business envelope. And I'm going to stamp that flower composition using my Misty. This is a big stamp, so you need all the help that you can get. I'm going to stamp it a couple of times to get a good impression. And then I'm going to bring in the matching stencils, align them on top, I will secure them at the back with some washi tape, and I will uh, color everything with my blending tools. This is going to make coloring super quick and simple. I'm bringing in my Pink Free Studio inks, and you will see every time I switch to another color which one I am using. In the pack of stencils you will find one that is meant to color all the leaves, so you can just apply green color all over the place. I'm starting with meadow here, which is my lightest color. And once I have covered up everything, I went and used Emerald City. And I'm just adding a touch of uh, darker areas here and there, so that they don't look as flat. I am using Premium Dye Ink by Pinkfresh Studio. They have a great collection of colors. And I like that they even have a chart where you can get four from each color from all the way from lighter to darker but of course you can get them separately as well they come in this big ink pad or in the mini square size let's remove the stencil and see what we have up to here it's really quick and simple to color this way and you are able to add some shading just like i did so nothing is going to uh, look too flat now, just because this is a stencil, it's not going to lay exactly where all those black lines are. But this is not a problem, just embrace that imperfect look. I am going to lay on top the second stencil, which is going to give me the first layer of color for my flowers. This color is called Sparkling Rose. And again, I'm using one of my mini blending tools to make sure that I have a good control of where I am applying the color. Now, you don't need to do any shading with this stencil because there is a second one for adding the shadows. Now, also keep in mind that these stencils would work great even if you didn't have the stamped image underneath. So all you have to do is to just layer one on top of the other and you will end up having with a lovely flower composition without black outlines, which would give you a softer look. By removing the stencil, you can already see that it looks just gorgeous. However, I'm going to use the third one to add some shadows. And the color I'm using here is Bubblegum. The fun part is that once you remove the third stencil, you have a panel ready to go. All you need to do is to stamp a sentiment, add a die cut sentiment, and you have a lovely slim line panel. Now, however, I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to use the matching die to die cut it so that I can pop it on my card for some extra detail. Now, I decided to stick this one on top of a green panel that matches the color of my leaves. And this is 3.5 by 8.5, but just because it was looking too plain, I'm going to use one of the new slimline stencils, and this is a must-have, since it just gives you stripes. I think that if you are into slimline cards, this is a great stencil and very versatile to have. I'm going for a tone-on-tone -tone look, so all I'm going to do is to just ink up those uh, stripes with one of the inks that I used for the leaves. So this is Meadow. And once I remove the stencil, you can see the subtle look, which is exactly what I was going for for my background. Now you can either stamp a sentiment on a strip of paper and stick it on top, or like I'm doing here, you can use any sentiment die. 
I'm going to use the word awesome and I do have the actual word as well as the outline and this comes from this phrase builder you die set. This is from a previous release by Pink Fresh Studio but it comes with amazing words that you can use again and again and um, I like the size of them. They are great for a slimline card. I'm going to stick the white one on top of the black outline and I did actually cut out the word awesome out of uh, white glitter cardstock. It's really hard to see on um, a video but it is really shiny. At the back of my flower composition I do have foam tape. I'm going to pop it on top of my panel and then on top I'm going to add the sentiment. And if you notice, I did white emboss on black cardstock, the words you are, so that I can complete my sentiment. I'm going to stick everything down. I used my white gel pen to add some highlights on the leaves and on the flowers, just here and there. Finally, I'm going to finish it off by adding some uh, Dream Drops, and this is Cloud9, one of my favorites, at the center of a few of the flowers. I'm also going to embellish the whole design all around. Now my panel is ready and all I have to do is to stick it on top of a slimline card that's 3.5 by 8.5 and, and it's going to cover it up completely. And remember today I am playing with slimline stencils for all three of my cards but again you can just use your favorite color medium like your alcohol markers or your watercolors for a completely different look. Here is another slimline stamp set. This is called You Are Amazing. It comes with this lovely background of leaves along with four different sentiments. You can emboss it on your background, you can stamp it and color it or you can grab the matching stencils. There are three in the pack and you can lay one over the other which is going to give you the option to use three different colors. I am using Detail Black Ink by Pink Fresh Studio to stamp this big image and just because it is big, missed it to the rescue just to make sure that I will get a good impression. On my table from the previous card I did have a range of uh, green ones so I decided to go with green inks for this card so it would make a great card for pretty much all occasions. However, you can use three completely different colors for fall like you can go with oranges and reds and yellows and you will end up with a lovely fall color combination. And I want to try that on craft cardstock. I think it would make a great fall card. So for the first layer I went with Emerald City, now I'm switching to a lighter one which is Mint. And for the last stencil I'm going with Meadow which is my favorite of all greens. And of course you can go ahead and color all the areas with bigger blending tools. These were uh, the mini by Alta New and they were new to me so I wanted to try them out and see how they work. However if you use a bigger blending tool you will cover up the whole area in no time. And now let's peel off the third stencil and see what we got. I think this is a great card, perfect for masculine cards as well. You can use it vertically or horizontally, just stamp a sentiment on top and you are ready to go. Plus it would make a great background for sticking on top your stamped flowers. And if you omit stamping the black outline, you will end up having a lovely soft outcome. So you don't need to have the stamp to work with the stencils. Now to put my card together I decided to go with You Are Amazing. Again I used the dies from the uh, set that I used for the first card and um, this time I used the word and the outline Amazing. I am going to stick that at the center and embellish it with a few flowers that I stamped and die cut. These are from a previous released uh, stamp set but I find they are really fun and uh, funky. So I decided to use those to embellish my card and add some pop of color. I trimmed this panel about a quarter of an inch all around so that I can stick it on a dark green cardstock and now my panel is ready to go on top of a slimline card and you can see here some close-up photos. Just like always you will find links down below to all the new products that have been released and I'm using as well as to the other dies and stamps that I'm using from previous releases. So here is another stencil, a slimline stencil. It comes with two stencils in the pack and you can combine them with different colors to create that plaid look. I was absolutely in love with that and I decided to work on craft cardstock for a background that is perfect for Christmas cards. For starts I'm going to stick them together one on top of the other. So I'm making sure that I secure the stencil on top of my cardstock and the two stencils together. For that I'm using some washi tape. 
This is going to create the perfect background for Christmas cards and you can create that with uh, red as I'm going to show you here, but you can repeat the same idea with green ones. I'm using Candid Apple Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to completely cover up the whole panel. The panel is uh, 3.5 by 8.5 again and I'm not moving as fast as it shows. I'm being very careful holding the stencils down with my other hand so that I will not accidentally add color underneath those lines. I started with craft cardstock for a more subtle look on the lines that are not going to be covered with ink, but of course you can go with white for a brighter look. And now very carefully let's remove the two stencils so we can see what we have. And you will end up with a panel ready to go. If you want to take it a step further, then you can do what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use just one of the two stencils this time. I'm going to secure it exactly where it was laying before. And I will go over it with what's left on my uh, blending tool. I'm not taking up my blending tool and I'm going very softly. I'm not going to oversaturate those lines since I want to have two shades of color on my background. And you can see the result once I remove this stencil. Absolutely stunning and imagine all the possibilities by mixing up different colors instead of going monochromatic like I did here. You can easily decorate this panel by sticking down some holly berries or a Christmas wreath or you can add some uh, Christmas ornaments on top. I decided to go clean and simple with that just because I loved this background. So I'm just going to stick down joy and cheer. And uh, this comes from a previous set with many phrases and outlines. It's called Classic Holiday Words and you will find it linked down below. So here are some close-up photos on the last card for today. I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired as I was playing with the latest stamps, dies and stencils for Slimline Cards by Pinkfresh Studio. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I hope you will all have a lovely weekend.